Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Catherine Moore Barry, better known as Kate Barry. Now, Kate Barry's story is largely legend, much of it's very hard to confirm. Uh, unfortunately, this happens a lot with not only women, but poorer women, and especially poor women on the frontier. She did not have a whole lot of correspondence to dig through and all of that, but she did have, apparently, a very fascinating midnight ride of her own, and she's one of the least appreciated of the many, many midnight riders who are underappreciated if their name is not Paul Revere. So Kate Barry was living down on the South Carolina frontier when the war had been broken out for several years, and in 1780, uh, Kate goes out on horseback because somehow she came across some information that led her to believe that General Cornwallis was sending Bannister Tarleton out to do some raiding of patriots on the frontier. Now, how she came about this information is not clear, but she does seem to have been right. So Kate takes out her horse and rides across the frontier, and she knew all the Native American trails, having been a local to the area, which the British and even many of the patriots in the area didn't know. And she went around alerting all the militia. And one of the people she alerted was Daniel Morgan. And Daniel Morgan was in charge of all the militia in the area. And he got them all together. And what erupted was the Battle of Cowpens. And I'm not going to get too into Cowpens today. But suffice to say, Daniel Morgan pulled some very interesting maneuvers in one of the most important and underappreciated battles of the American Revolution. Helping to win the day and set the South under not just Morgan, but General Nathaniel Green on the path to victory in the American Revolutionary War. Now after this, well, Kate again essentially disappears. We do know she lived until the 1780s, and we know that about this time she was just about 30 years old. But other than that, there's not a whole lot we know. I should note, her husband, uh, Andrew, was one of the militiamen who she went out to warn, who had left home to go fight in the war, and as I said, she went out to warn him with the other militia. There is one more fascinating uh, anecdote to the legend, which is Kate Berry, uh, and that is this, and again, can't prove this, but the understanding goes that she had a child when the war broke out, and a child when she went on her famous ride, and when she left her house, she couldn't bring her kid on horseback, she rode through the night. Can't do that with a child, so instead what she decided to do was take her child and tie the child to a bedpost, so it couldn't get into any trouble while she was gone. In hindsight, in the future, uh, the rope could have ended up doing very bad things with the child, but obviously not a concern back in the late 18th century. And again, Kate Barry went on a ride. It led to one of the most important battles of the American Revolution. And though much of her story is legend, she is an American hero. Now, I do want to remind you guys, tomorrow is our live video. And on Friday, we also have a live trivia contest. So make sure you hit the notification button so you don't miss out on when we have our live reviews, our weekly trivia, or just these standard founders of the day. So thank you for watching and I'll be back with our live video tomorrow.